by the end of this video, you should be able to create something like this. Hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. So if you're new here, kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you're old here, thanks so much for coming back again. So in this video, we're going to do the long shadow effect in Photoshop. Let's get into the video. So I'm going to create a, a new document. So I'll go to file a new. And then I'm going to create a document of 1920 by 1080. Of course, you can choose any size if you are using a different size now I'm going to fill this document with a new solid color and then preferably I'm going to choose this one any color that you want of course so I'm going to choose this one afterwards I'm using the solid color because you can change it afterwards if you want and we are going to add the text so I'm going to use the font bebas and I will include that in the description if you want to check it out so I'm going to type let's say long and then I'm going to change the first color to white over here and I'm going to press ctrl T to transform it let's say a bit long like this and I'll press ctrl A to make sure that I have it in the center so I center it both vertical and horizontal I'll press ctrl D when I'm done I'm going to make a duplicate of this long test that I made so I'm pressing ctrl J and then it makes the copy now we have the long underneath and then we have the long copy on top i'm going to select the copied or the long one and i'm going to change the color to black over here now what we're going to do is that we're going to press ctrl t we're going to transform it and then we're going to change the angle to 45. note this that the angle that you choose will be rotating it again so the angle that you choose you make sure that when you are rotating it, you just choose the same angle. So I'm going to tick OK. And then this is the very important aspect. You hold Alt, you put your hand on Alt, and then you start to drag the arrow key leftwards. So I hold Alt, and then so it will be making duplicates of that particular long copy. So we make about 100 copies of it. And to give you a shortcut, you just hold on the arrow key just like that and it will be going very faster. So when it reaches 100, let's say 100, and I think that is okay. So we're going to select the first, the last copy, that is the 100th one, the 100th one. And then we're going to select the first one and we will press Ctrl E to merge it, right? So we have this right over here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press ctrl c again like i told you earlier and then we are going to rotate it so we rotated 45 degrees clockwise now we're going to go anti-clockwise so minus 45 and then it should fit to the same long test so now what you have to do is you have to take your time to place it just right beneath the long like that and then we make some couple of duplicates like this so you take your time to position it very simple and then you select the two and make a duplicate again and then you can bring it over here so i want to zoom in and make sure that i have it on the very edge of the test i would have to make another last duplicate and then i'll position it over here and when I'm done with all these things, what I'm going to do is I'll select all the shadows and then merge that one too again. And from there, I just decrease the opacity slow to about 50%. And then the shadow is done. Now you can just decrease it more if you want to. And like I said earlier, you can just change the color from here. That is why I use the solid color. So you can just change it anyhow you want it as simple as that so let me know in the comment section which of the colors you like most you can take the same steps we took in this one to make it for logos and other stuff thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll get back to you with another video it's innocent here bye